And uh, this school is the fourth largest primary school in the country. The first one is in Kibera, Olympic. The second one is here at Bungoma DEB, followed by the large school in Juja, and then this one. Just a few things to, to say now. The exams are starting on Monday. The government is fully prepared. It is all systems go. We have a multi-agency system that is, going, that is already on the ground. The exams are in the distribution centers as we move. Together with the Ministry of Interior and all the other agencies, we are ready to go. You can see the county commissioners on my side here. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. Just to re-emphasize one thing again, that every child that deserves to do examination must do the examination. There are a few unscrupulous teachers in the private schools who I understand did not register children for examinations. We are not going to allow our children to suffer because of a few crooks. So our very firm instructions are that as the multi-agencies investigate those teachers and proprietors, the children must take examinations under protest. They must be allowed to take examinations. And we shall deal with the results afterwards. We cannot punish our children. In any case, it is very strange because the government pays examination fees for all the children, both in private and public schools. So for those private schools who still charge children examination fees and they even fail to register them for exams, I think that is criminal and they should be punished without any mercy. Secondly, we shall find children in schools where they did not register because either their parents have moved or the schools folded up. They, those children don't have to worry because we are prepared for them. We are going to be able to give them examinations where they are. Finally, a few unscrupulous people are still planning, and I must warn, because the network is enlarging. Homer Bay has joined in the group that are planning to interfere with examinations. And I want to warn them, those officers in Homer Bay, both in the schools and outside schools, that we are watching very closely what you are trying to do, you are tempted and we shall come onto you like a ton of bricks. Homabe is joining the Migori, Isabania, and some parts of Kisiango. So be warned that we are watching you and that we shall not allow you
to trade with our children and to abuse our children. Otherwise, mine is now to again wish on behalf of the, His Excellency the President, the entire government and the people of Kenya, all the best to our children. We have reassured the children that there is really nothing to worry about. Let us be very clear that as soon as the exam starts, the examination areas are no-go areas for everybody, except those who are going to monitor. That is not to say we are locking out anybody. The, the distribution areas are open to the press, for example. But once we reach the school, we should allow our children to do their exams in peace. If there are issues, we have command and control centers, two of them, working 24 hours. Anybody with any useful information that can help us is allowed to get to us. Let there be no confusion that certain people are leaving children to move them from an, a place to another. Because I've already said children will take the exams where they registered for them, except where there are known reasons, like where schools were shifted because the schools were swept away, and so on. If you hear anything, and I'm talking to the fourth estate, if you hear anything where any of my staff or anybody else is trying to levy, to levy children or to move children to a so-called convenient area, which is not supposed to be so, kindly let us know. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let us also pray for our children and hope that uh, it shall come to pass. The COVID protocols are going to be much, much easier to maintain now that we only have two classes in school. So nobody should make an issue about this. And uh, if, you have, if, if one is worrying, should there be an issue that uh, during exams, if we have an issue, that issue will be dealt with at the time that it comes as antennas are.